Welcome back to Brent's Hang, I'm Brent Barnett, and this is our three up, two down segment in our ongoing Nothing But Options series. Now, I could show you guys a hundred different ways that I would set it up, but you may not do that. You may not like that. That's what I like. I want to show you how adaptable Gibraltar is to any situation and how you can use it to help create and customize your own setup. This is our three up, two down configuration within our Nothing But Options video series. What I've got is rack toms 8, 10, 12, floor toms 14, 16, 22 inch bass drum, 14 inch snare. Now my cymbals, I've got two crashes, a ride, and hi-hats placed in a very common place. This is a very common setup that you would see at a music store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bunch of cymbals to this setup and I'm gonna show you a variety of different hardware combinations that you can use to maintain the exact same cymbal configuration. I'm also gonna play with the tom placement a little bit and make sure all the cymbals stay the same. So now we're at option D and we're dabbling in the rack world now, but we're gonna start it with the stealth rack. We're just gonna ease our way into it. I've got the GSVMS on my left hand side here and I've just got cymbal stands that I combined it with. Now maybe you're someone that likes to play your cymbal stands, that's great, I get it, but maybe you also like the function of the stealth rack. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can integrate it with your setup. So now let's have a look at our core. My entire left side is mounted to the stealth rack. Amazing, right? So my eight and my 10 are attached to a double tom mount. Now the double tom mount is also holding my main crash with an LBBT, and my secondary crash is attached to the boom arm of the main crash, just like before and my splash is attached to the L-Rod that's holding our 10-inch tom. And so for the final touches on my left-hand side, I've got my china on its cymbal stand. So now let's talk about the two versions of the Stealth Rack. We have version A and version B. Version A is only the base hardware. It's just the two verticals, the two feet, and the bent connector bar. There's no mounting hardware, no tom mount, and no snare basket. This gives you the option to use your own. Version B is all of that and it includes a single tom arm and a snare basket. So now, I'm using version A on this one because I needed to use a double tom mount. The single tom mount wouldn't work. So I've got my two rack toms, eight and 10, mounted with a double tom mount, and I have the GUASB snare basket mounting my snare. On the right hand side, we've got our favorite cymbal stand set up back. Our 12 inch tom is mounted to the right main crash using the SC SLRM clamp. Our ride cymbal's got its own stand again, and we have our auxiliary hi-hat mounted to the ride stand using the 9707XB. Our secondary right crash is mounted to the China cymbal stand. So here we are at option D1. This is the secondary tom configuration. You know where the eight and the 10 are on the way far left side. We're still using the stealth rack, and we're still combining it with cymbal stands. Now, I was able to keep all my cymbals in the exact same spot as they were before. Now since I moved the toms over, I had to change out a few pieces of hardware. So now at our core, we have our 12 inch tom back. Our ride cymbal, floor tom, snare, and kick drum. And this is all being supported by the stealth rack, but this is a different version of the stealth rack. This is version B that comes with the tom arm and the snare basket. So this version of the stealth rack is mounting five of my toys here. I've got my secondary crash being mounted to the boom arm of the main crash. The main crash is mounted to the back clamp of the tom arm. And then we got my splash in my favorite spot where it's very easy for me to get to, mounted to the tom arm. And of course, you know, my tom and snare are mounted together as well. My eight and 10 inch rack toms are moved over to the far left and I have them positioned as accent toms. And I'm using the 9613 PM stand to do so. This is that crazy stand that has three clamps in it that are, two of them are adjustable. Now, I needed a china here, so I just used the back clamp to hold the LBBT to mount the china. And of course, I've got my 14 right next to me. So on the right-hand side, the only thing that changed was the positioning of the ride cymbal. No hardware changed. I needed to move it from over here to like right in front of me, so it was a little bit more comfortable on my shoulder. The crash, auxiliary crash, spare hi-hats, china, all in the exact same position with the exact same stands. And option E, we're now back to our primary tom configuration, and I'm combining the stealth rack with the 9613 PM tom stand. Now, the reason that I'm combining these two together is because I get the added benefits that come along with the stealth rack, 
and I also get all the mounting capabilities and possibilities that come along with the 9613PM mount. Now pay attention to this one because it's a little different. So we have our core here, it's 8, 10, 12, floor, snare, and kick drum. Now we're just gonna focus on the left hand side right now. We've got our 8, 10, and our 14 inch snare, our secondary crash, main crash, and splash cymbal all supported on the stealth rack. Now we're using version A, which is the GSVMS. Now remember, version A is just the base hardware, the two verticals, the two feet, and the, the stealth bent crossbar. There's no mounting system that comes with this. The reason I'm using this is because I wanted to use the SC APM mount, which is the top mount on the 9613PM stand. It's an adjustable platform mount that I can mount three different things in three different ways. As you see, I've got two rack toms mounted to it, and I've got a symbol, my main symbol mounted to the very back clamp. Now this gives me multiple mounting options, especially if I want to ditch the two rack toms and put something else there. Now I've got my splash positioned in my favorite spot, right in between the eight and the 10, just mounted off the L rod on the 10 inch drum. Then we come over to the left side, and I've got my china using its own stand. Now on the right side, this is where it starts to get a little different and a little dicey. We've got the uh, 9613 PM full stand. This is the stand, not the mount. Mounting our 12 inch tom, our right main crash, and our ride cymbal. All three mounted just to that one stand. Going further back, we've got a second 9613 PM stand mounting these three cymbals. I've got my china here. I needed a little bit of extra height on this one because it's a little taller. So I use the 6709 NL. It's a no leg cymbal stand, it has no legs on it. It's just tubes and tiers that you can telescope up and down and make it a lot longer. Then I've got my secondary crash mounted to it, one of the adjustable clamps. So now my X-Hat, I'm using a little bit different piece of hardware to mount this. It's no longer the 9707XB. It's the SC4425 XHMB. It's basically a mini boom down tube with the X-Hat arm on it. You can mount it to a rack, you can mount it to a clamp. It's great. This is not necessarily the most optimal way of mounting this, but it works. The reason that I did it this way is because I wanted to show you the multiple mounting possibilities of this stand. And in order for me to use this stand with this X-Hat assembly, I had to position it this way because of the height. E1 is our secondary tom configuration where I moved the eight and the 10 way off to the left and now I've got the 12 right where the eight and the 10 used to be. I'm still using the stealth rack with the 9613PM tom stand. I had to change a few things in the hardware, but I'm still able to keep the cymbals in the exact same position. So our core has now changed since our toms have rotated to the left. We have our 12 ride cymbals, 16 floor, snare, and kick drum all a part of our core. Now on the stealth rack, the only thing that has really changed that's holding our 12 is that we lost a tom. So now instead of holding an eight and a 10 here, we're only holding a 12, which leaves an extra clamp open. So what I did was I removed the secondary crash off of the boom arm of the main crash, and I just gave it its own boom, and I attached it to the back clamp. Now I still have my splash symbol mounted in my favorite spot, right on the end of the tom arm. So on my far left side, I've got my eight and 10 inch tom set up as accent toms, and I'm using the 9613 PM stand to do that. And in the back clamp, I'm mounting the boom for my china. On my right hand side, everything shifted over, so that let me have space to put my ride cymbal. So now the 9613PM is holding three cymbals. I've got my ride, my main crash, and my secondary crash. So now in the back, I've got a 9613PM mounting my china with a no leg cymbal stand. I've got an X hat here, and since everything was rotating counterclockwise, I had a clamp left over. So I had to add a jam block. I couldn't just leave it open. Well, that's it for this segment. Thanks for watching. We have a ton of these videos in our Nothing But Options series. Just go to our channel and check out the Nothing But Options playlist. They're all there. Now, if you're interested in the parts list for any of the setups that I did in this video, there's a PDF that you can download off the website, and you can get there by clicking on the link down in the description.